Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art. So for today's piece, I'm actually doing this for a wonderful group of artists that I'm a member of called the Art Addicts Alliance. And once a month we do a prompt and we all get together and do our own in interpretation of the prompt or what we would like to do with that prompt, our idea of what we want to do. So for this month's prompt, it's Endangered. So for endangered, I chose to do a group of Australian animals that are either endangered or threatened. So, and they're a gorgeous little group of animals. So um, I've done on the left hand side is the black flanked rock wallaby. Um, next to him, I've done the little hairy nose wombat. Above him that I'm drawing in now is a little corroboree frog. I've done bottom right is the numbat and above the numbat I've done a little bilby and right up the top a little Gouldian finch. So yeah all these guys are either, are either endangered or threatened. So I just yeah wanted to, I couldn't pick one, I just wanted to do the whole little group. So I haven't done them in proportion like so sometimes they might be a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger compared to each other in reality but I've just popped them all as close as what I thought they would be size wise together and uh, made a little little landscape scene with the whole little group. So I'm colouring in, I did the background with watercolour and now I'm going in to the animals with my uh, Faber-Castell pit pens. So I've been loving using those for fur. So now I'm doing just the background around the animals. I've created rocks for the corroboree frog and the bilby to sit on. And now I'm just doing the ground underneath the wallaby, the wombat and um, my numbat. Just pop some shadows in under them all and I'll create a cooler shadow for them, so a purpley coloured shadow. I'll just darken up these sort of moundy bits beside, beside them, just give it a bit more warmth, a bit more depth. And then I'll just add a bit of burn umber just to deepen up that background. So I'll tell you a little bit about these animals. So with the black flanked rock wallaby, um, they're a small shy wallaby. They live in central western Australia in the rocky outcrops. Um, they mainly come out at night. Um, they stay in their, in their rocky outcrops during the day and stay cool. Um, they're greyish brown with a black stripe on their flanks. And next to him I've got the little hairy nose wombat. And these guys are a stocky built little animal. They get to about 900 mils long and about 30 kilos in weight. Um, they live in Western, uh, Western Australia, Southern S South Australia, and Southwest New South Wales. And they live in semi-arid to grasslands and woodlands. Um, and they live in burrows and warrens that they dig. And I'm coloring in the numbat now. So the numbats are about 18 inches long. Um, they live, or they have between four and 11 little white stripes on their backs and they vary from soft brown with red fur on their back and to a greyish colour with red fur. Um, and they mainly eat termites. Then above him I've already finished the bilby and the bilby, those little guys, they're found in the deserts in the Northern Territory and in the Mitchell grasslands of southwest Queensland. They're nocturnal and they eat tubers, spiders, termites, witchetty grubs and fungi. And then up top left, just above the little hairy nosed wombat, I've got the corroboree frog. And they're a small poisonous frog, they're a ground dwelling frog um, and they live in the southern tablelands of Australia and they eat beetles, mites, ants, insects and larvae. And then the little Gildian finch up in his branch, they haven't painted the branch in yet but that's about to happen. <laughs> so the little Gildian finch, they're a beautiful little colourful finch and they mainly in the, live in the top end of Australia, so right up north in the, in the warmer climates and they eat seeds and grass and things. Um, and they've been bred a lot in captivity. There's, you know, there's not a great deal in the wild, but there is, you know, they've been bred in good numbers in captivity. But in the wild, they're endangered or threatened. So now I'm just filling in the wombat. And yeah, he's a hairy nosed wombat. So they're very cute little guys. And again, doing him with my pit pen, just filling in all these darkest areas. And it was fun composing this little picture. Like I said, I couldn't pick just one. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pop them all, pop all my favourite ones together and, yeah, make a little scene. <laughs> so, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this, really enjoyed this little piece. So now I'm adding a skin tone in just over the top. 
because the skin tone actually works well as a natural brown on the animals. So, and then I'm going in just to his darkest details, pop his little whiskies in and darken up around his eyes, pop a few highlight dots in their eyes. And now I go, I go back into my black flanked rock wallaby and I just start with greys and I work through his whole coat just with different values of grey. Try and get some depth to his little body. At the moment, yeah, I'm just blocking in the base coat now. And these pens have got India ink in them. So, yeah, they're a lovely ink pen. It goes really well with watercolour. Yeah, so this is done with the Art Addicts Alliance. And so I'll pop links below to all the different members who are participating and all creating their own piece and their own um, endangered animal or animals that they would like to draw or paint. Um, yeah, so I'd love it if you guys would pop over and check them out. I'll pop all their links below so you can have a look at them after you've seen this video. So now I'm just popping the shadows in underneath his tail and his leg and I'm going back in now again with a light skin tone. And now I'm just going to darken up that leg that's in complete shadow. And I'm using a, a really dark blue, like a phthalo blue in there. And I pop a highlight of just Posca pen on the back of the little rock wallaby. Pop the branch in for the Gouldian finch two or three different tones of brown. Pop a few glass, grass flecks around just to ground the animals that are down low. I'm using my a brown and a green pick pen. Now I go in and start colouring the corroboree frog and he's very bright yellow and green. He's quite a beautiful little thing and he's got black stripes so he's yellow green with very shiny black stripes just magnificent looking. So I'll make a blue shadow underneath him. I'll just lighten up some of the grey fur on the wallaby. And as you can see, my sticky tape's becoming unstuck. <laughs> but we won't worry about that. <laughs> it's been a warm day, so my sticky tape's decided not to stick anymore. And we're done. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this picture. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, I'll pop everyone's links down below from the Art Addicts Alliance. Go and check them out. And I shall see you guys for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.